for all the marbles. Here it is, Tim. Uh, here's your package. So let's uh, open her up and see what you sent me. So anybody that doesn't know, this is, I think, a Husky 450 uh, clutch cover. And Tim was having trouble. Uh, he actually saw my old video. Um, he was having trouble getting this disengaged. So, apparently his uh, guy from the, uh, the dealership couldn't get it either. So, happened to have a Husky 350 clutch cover thing. So let's see if this just goes. I don't think it will. I think we're going to have some type of a problem here. So, this is something I've never actually seen before. Why is it jammed? So let's take it apart and find out. I think this has already been a part. Sorry. Odds are there's a spring in here and the whole thing's gonna go boing on me, so that's pretty typical. Obviously the spring's under quite a bit of tension. The real question is, why is this binding? I don't know. No. Oh. So the spring is out now. That should just move. Throw this stuff off to the side. Lock there. Lock all the way back. That seems to work fine. Let's see if we can get this to move any differently. All the way up. How do I get it to move all the way up? Well, it's, the whole cam here seems to want to move just fine. So as far as I can see, the mechanism itself, that works just fine. There's nothing wrong really there. So let's put the spring back. Let's see if we can reproduce the results. Here. So if I had to guess, the bumper that runs into here is going too far. That allows the cam to effectively become, if it's like this and you push, the whole thing moves, no problem. But if it's too straight, then it's never gonna move. See, the strength of the spring has effectively puckered all of that.
Everybody wants to see a movie. Harley Dog, that's for you. Anyway, can you see this? So if you actually push down, this is not going to return because you're pushing straight down here. There's no moment that causes this to move that way. Something's bent here. And I can get it to actuate. Yeah, I think this this is effectively bent here too because this is actuated way too far over. So there are actually four screws that hold this down. The fourth one really doesn't matter that much, but these two over here do. And I don't want to stress these necessarily, I just want to kind of get them down a bit. And then hopefully I can actuate this far enough to get this to go. this, I've now pushed the spring back past where there, there is now a moment, essentially. And it actuated. So that's set there. The question is, is it repeatable? That's essentially how it's supposed to go. I still think something in here is bent, but let's see if we can repeat this. See, it just doesn't want to go. Overall, it just seems like the cam is too far that way. Somehow, some way, it's just overactuated. Well, it seems to want to go. That went. Okay. Again, let's try it with the handle here. Should pop that. And then <clears throat> ow. No, didn't go. That went. Pop back. There it went. Twice. Well, I don't know. Tim, I think I'm just going to ship this back to you. If you can get her to work, great. Um, I can get it to actuate now with this three prong thing here. If you can get it to work on the saw, fantastic. Now, what you're gonna need almost for sure, what you're gonna need is a brand new handle here because once you start eating away once you start chewing this away, it's just not gonna grab good. So Pop. Yeah, I don't. Even, I don't even know if I can get this to go. See, that's not going to go like that. Yeah, I need more leverage. Yeah, it's 
actually did want, did want to go there. Click. Yep, it actuated. So that's fine. Um, obviously, it does work. I don't know if it's going to be reliable for you, though. You have to check it, try it, see what happens. So I guess I'll ship this on back. So this should literally go right on the saw just like that, no problem. But you're going to need a new chain brake handle. You need a new one of these, effectively, to make that grab, because you really need to grab that good. And it's got to be on there, you know? So... I hope this helps you out a little bit, and I hope everybody enjoys the video, even though this is a really, really uninteresting video. What else can I say about it? It's just a clutch cover. It ain't all that exciting. Anybody needs to uh, really be careful when working with these, though, because these darn springs are tough. Ugh. Tough, tough, tough. And they will mess you up. So, again, hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.